It's World Cup Confidential England's own Optus Crisis England has been hit with its own Optus Crisis as fans watching England's World Cup quarterfinal on the BBC iPlayer were left fuming after the service went down minutes before the end of the game. Semi-final viewers said the streaming service cut off with around three minutes left of the match against Sweden, which England won 2-0, way to go. At ITV Player Works Fine, why is your app so hopeless, one said, totally thrilled to miss the last three minutes of the match. Now face Croatia in a semi-final next week, the Sun England fans raid IKEA Ubland England fans today invaded a branch of IKEA singing, it's coming home, after the Three Lions quarter-final win against Sweden. The cheeky group managed to infiltrate the Stratford branch of the Swedish-founded flat pack giant to continue their celebrations. Video from the store shows the group dancing and singing shortly after England booked their place in the World Cup semi-final by beating Sweden 2-0, woo, take that Sweden, asterisk goes back to playing Minecraft at his IKEA desk mumbo jumbo, at that mumbo jumbo, July 7, 2018 an IKEA spokesperson said, we are aware of a small group of fans celebrating the match result in one of our stores, being both British and Swedish, we were on the edge of our seats during the game and we would like to say, gratis, that's congratulations in Swedish to the England team for getting through to the semi-finals, in celebration, we've put one of the nation's favorite dishes, fish and chips, on offer for just one pound. Visit ikea.co.uk for more information, with World Cup fever gripping the country fans have been getting creative. Garrett Southgate's side booked their place in the semi-finals of Russia 2018 this afternoon. But even before the game England fans did not waste a single opportunity to troll the Scandinavian side. Pranksters from Capital Northeast managed to sneak around the gate's head outlet of Swedish furniture giant IKEA, cheekily changing names of products to Footnallet Skamanjom and pricing them up at £19.66. The Sun Liverpool fans choose watch a do-or-die World Cup quarter-final against Sweden or tune into a pre-season clash with Chester. That was the decision that faced Liverpool fans after their club opted to schedule a fixture at the exact same time as England's massive clash in Moscow. The Reds' match featured the debuts of new signings Naby Keita and Fabinho as a youthful outfit romped to a 7-0 win. Chester had attempted to change the kickoff time but Liverpool weren't keen to change their plans.